Hello, welcome to Plant Based Large Family. I figured if I did one grocery haul, you'd probably want another grocery haul just to say these are the things I buy every week, these are special things, that sort of thing. So, this is grocery haul week number two. I'll start with the things that are the same. Every week, I buy a whole lot of bananas. Most every week, I buy chips for our dip. Every week, I buy orange juice and almond milk. And every week, I buy raisins. I'm allowing my 10-year-old to make supper once a month. <laughs> That's about all I can handle. Um, and I'll put up what she's actually making. But these are the things for her supper. We need the tofu for something I'm making this week. I don't remember what it is. I'll put it up. Um, we're going to Vacation Bible School, and they have a hot dog, like a, a grill out the last day, and so we're going to bring our own um, smart dogs and uh, just eat them there so the kids don't feel left out. We were out of celery. We were out of cinnamon. We bought some chickpeas. Um, we make falafels, hummus. I use them in our bean burgers, and I have yet to find a bulk uh, bulk chickpeas for cheaper than just buying them by the bag, so that's what I do. Bought some spaghetti, we were out of salsa, um, almost out of breadcrumbs. I use the breadcrumbs for cauliflower, I'll do some um, breaded cauliflower, I do some baked zucchini with some breadcrumbs, um, mangoes were on sale, so I bought some mangoes. Uh, we were about out of apples, so we bought that. In total, we spent $86. So that's it. I'll put up um, on the screen what we are having with all this food. I forgot to show you that um, my husband's water was on sale, so we got three of those. Just for reference, this is about how many bananas we don't eat fresh. Um, I'm going to make, later tonight, I'll be making overnight oats, so that'll use about a bunch of bananas. And then the rest I'll freeze, and that'll be all the banana nice cream that we eat throughout the week. If we have plenty of frozen ones, once a week we'll have banana bread as well. And then sometimes we'll have... Um, some oatmeal cookies and we use bananas in that as well. It's just mashed up bananas, quick oats, and cinnamon. Kitty, don't eat our food. Um, so we are we're harvesting, there's lacinato kale, curly kale, uh, butternut crunch lettuce, so we'll get some greens every day for um, eating, obviously. We are starting to get some blueberries, starting to get some raspberries, and then we are also harvesting our overwintered carrots, which are huge. So it's about two inches in diameter. About six inches long. So really big carrots and we're, this is what about how much we'll harvest every day and we'll eat those for lunch. This is the next day. If you've never had a garden, just to show you how things go from I'm not harvesting anything to oh wow we have a lot of things to harvest. So yesterday all we had were carrots which we got some more today. One hit a rock. Um, and lettuce and a few blueberries and a few raspberries today we got more blueberries, more raspberries, we got our first little zucchini, and we got our first harvest of broccoli. At the farmer's market we got about 11 pounds of potatoes. We got a few zucchinis, we have some coming in from the garden, and we have some left over from last week's um, farmer's market buy. We got, I don't remember how many pounds, we got a whole bag of purple potted beans, snack beans, we love those. Got some cucumbers to eat with, um, some hummus or some type of dip, and then we got some yellow, or some 
um, I don't know if they're yellow, orange, whatever. They're tomatoes. <laughs> I got some tomatoes. And all in all, this was about $14 at the farmer's market.